Hello friends, this video on chemical bonding part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 12. The next I told was the reference structure. So experimentally it is found that the O3 cannot be represented by Lewis structure because it shows resonance. If you try to draw the O3 molecule, I think we have done this in the Lewis structure. We got two of the structure, either this or this, where I told right, so oxygen oxygen single bond was 148, we committed double bond, the size reduced, it becomes 121. So two possible structures were there, but experimentally it found that we had the oxygen O3 molecules looks like this, with the resonance here and the size is 128. So it is neither 148, neither 128, it is 148. So experimentally they have found that in case where multiple level structure is possible, they have something called resonance and it makes things more stable. Right? If you see, the length is less, it is more stable. And this concept of resonance was introduced because experimentally they found something else and using Lewis they found something else. Because using Lewis, whatever they got, it was experimentally not true. So they introduce the concept of resonance. They means the chemist. So according to this theory, if my single level structure is not able to explain my structure correctly, then I take the multiple, uh, the, I mean, multiple structure possible. So I take the resonance structure, which is more stable and which is, uh, which is the structure of the particular molecule. And please note that resonance stabilizes the molecule because the resonance hybrid energy is less than any of the single structure. Also, if you see that this resonance averages the bond characteristic. For example, in this case O3, the resonance hybrid energy is lower. If you take any of the canonical form, even if you take average, the resonance actually energy is lower. Right? So resonance makes energy lower. And also please note, the canonical form which we have explained, it doesn't exist in real. So in the last case, as I told, was oxygen it has something like this, O3, right? So this is what I explained using Lewis structure. But I'm saying that these doesn't exist. The only thing that exists is this guy, the resonance. These forms, they don't exist, the one in the circle, they don't exist at all, they don't have real existence, right? And it is not that they, they exist in this form for one second, this form for the second, it doesn't happen. So a lot of students have this doubt, say, they say that uh, for one second it is in this form, for another second it is this form, it keeps swapping. That concept is wrong. It, it is not like this, that it, it exists in this form or this form, it keeps switching, it is not like that. It is always in the resonance structure, always in this. this is the real structure, real experimental structure, right? So these, these doesn't exist, it doesn't keep on swapping the structure, right? And there is no equilibrium also. So some, some book people, some students are confused saying that there is equilibrium and it, no, this, the shape moves from shape 1 to 2, nothing like that exists. These shape 1, shape 2, they don't exist in real, they don't exist, don't get confused, they don't exist in real, the only shape that exists is the resonance structure and they are pretty stable, right, they are pretty stable, so don't get confused with these structure, the only structure that exists is the resonance structure in the real world and that is stable and that their energy is even lower than the average energy which you take from these, that's why we say that the resonance makes the structure stable. Right? And for these kind of structure, the resonance hybrid, they cannot be defeated by single Lewis structure. These structure are all wrong. So the moment you come about resonance, you don't think about single Lewis structure. You should talk about only the resonance structure. We'll take some examples for the resonance to make out out pretty clear on that. So let's take the structure of Ca3 minus 2. Carbon has four valence electrons so four plus oxygen has 
6 6 into 3 because 3 oxygen and 2 minus charge to be that so this becomes 24 so we have 24 valence electron to start so carbon is the central will add like this CO3 right so now for this we have used three bonds that means we have used six electrons so we are left with 18 electrons now let's make this carbon happy the central carbon happy the central carbon has six electrons add two more this becomes eight this is carbon so we are left with 16 central carbon is happy let's make this carbon happy this carbon has two electrons it needs six more so six with six more this carbon is happy or well, this oxygen is happy this oxygen also has two electrons it takes six more so we are left with four electron this oxygen has two electron it needs six electron but we are left only with four electron there is a deficiency of electron this oxygen is sad so the, this uh, oxygen will say okay let me do a double bond with carbon so let's propose a new structure for this right and let's try the whole thing once again so we have 24 valence electron to start with so now we have four bond so eight electron is needed in four bond so we are left with 16 electrons let's see the central carbon atom it's happy it has eight electron let's see this carbon atom it needs uh, it has two electron it needs six so let's add six here so I'll need carbon one sorry oxygen one let's name this two and let's name this three this oxygen has also to be left with 10 electrons now this oxygen also has two electrons it will need six electrons more so let's add six electrons to oxygen two. we are left with four electrons this oxygen atom has four electrons it needs four more so give four to oxygen three and we have zero electrons left and all the oxygens are happy all the carbon is happy everybody is happy this is my structure but let's talk about the charge now charge uh, for this carbon will be how much this oxygen will be how much oxygen one i'm talking about six is the natural value it has minus one two three four five six lone pair minus one bond so it is minus one so this is a minus one charge here talking about this oxygen two six minus one two three four five six minus one bond so minus one charge here also talk about oxygen three six is the valence electron it has in natural state minus four it has now and minus two bond so it is zero charge so if you see that's how the minus two charge comes here minus one and minus one correct so the point here to note here is that instead of taking uh, double bond for oxygen 3 we could have taken double bond for oxygen 1 also or double bond for oxygen 2 also right all these three structures is possible correct all these three is possible so in one case the double bond is uh, here, here, double bond is here, double bond is here. All these three structures is possible. That's why we see that resonance exists here. And none of these structure will give you proper shape. The proper structure will be something like this. The resonance will be somewhere. And it will have minus two charge. Correct? This is my resonance structure. This is correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.